All right, check this out. This is insane. Watch. This is the skin. There's that fluid-filled highway, and this is where the white blood cells are living, squirting their stuff out into the interstitium, the fluid-filled highway. Now, I have in a mud fossil basically the almost identical thing. It's, it doesn't have these colors, but I'm going to show you. All right, check this out. This is the fluid-filled highway. Now, I just put a little bit of moisture on there. It makes the things show up a little better. The This is like, it's got some kind of bloody tissue to it. Now, look at this. You see this? Whoops. You see that stuff moving through here? To the fluid filled highway, watch. You see it? A little water bubble. That's the fluid filled highway. Now, where are the cells that are creating these? I think they might be right down in here or up there. I don't know. That to me is the upward layer. This is the downward layer. So I think they're down here squirting out their contents, like right here. That may be a squirt going on right there. But it happens all the way down. See, here's some more floating down here. Whatever's going on here, maybe it's trying to attack something. Here's some more going here. It's kind of interesting that this color is so much different whoops, than this right here. That looks like it could be some kind of an injury or something, who knows. But the whole thing just keeps going and going and going. And that's the fluid filled highway as far as I'm concerned. Okay, my friends, get ready. This is how it all started out. I found rocks that were look like meat. And here they're talking about rocks that look like meat. And there's all kinds of them. Every type of meat could turn into a rock. Now, I get deep into this stuff. You see here? When I do something, I want to know the details. And how do these different layers absorb? And what are made up of all these different layers and all these little different doodads that are in the body? And believe me, something, something everybody should understand. So infant does not have a digestive system at birth. They have to inherit it from bacteria and everything that grows in their body. This is all about bacteria and the layers in the body, which now they call the interstitium layer. They didn't realize it was there. And I, I could see all these layers working with my mud fossils. And I, and, but there was another layer in there that I'll show you right now that nobody knew about. So, of course, I had to find out about it. <laughs> okay, so here is this layer that they just didn't know was there. Because by the time they did the autopsies, they had drained the fluids and it was flat. They thought it was just a flat layer. So in 2018, um, this guy from New York University wrote this paper, Meet Your Interstitium, a Newfound Organ, which is this layer here. Now, that's the layer that I discovered and I, I, I didn't know what to think about it. So I got a hold of, like I say, I think I mentioned this. I, there was only a couple of people that even knew about this stuff. And some people in Germany told me that they found tattoo fluids down inside different areas than where the tattoo was, way, way different, in this fascia, which it wasn't really the fascia, it was this fluid-filled layer. Now let me show you in a microscope the one I have here, one of the ones that I discovered that they had this extra layer and where did it come from? Nobody knew anything about it. Let me show you. All right, don't forget, this is the layer that we're going to be looking for. Now, this is in the microscope. And that's that layer right there. This is the fluid-filled highway. And I don't know what that is. That might even be something that's floating around in there going somewhere. Now, these creatures were very large, the ones that I have, so I could see things that nobody's ever seen before. You see this banding here? 
like the fluid filled highway has its own, you know, lanes that keep the fluid inside that, that layer. Now, if that gets penetrated, which is gonna, sooner or later you're gonna get poked with something that's gonna go through everything. But this stuff, that, this is the lymph, should come really quick and attack whatever it is. Now, this could even be something that's going on here where this is coming to, there's something going on here that's, I don't know, you know, you know, I mean, this is just a guess, but I do know that layer is there and they discuss, they said, yes, this is a new found organ. And that's that fluid filled highway. Now, my question is, is the fluid in this highway in the lung exactly the same as the fluid in this highway in the liver or in the heart or in the kidneys or wherever, stomach? I say probably not. Because let's look at the let's look at the layering now. Don't forget this is the fluid filled highway. Now let's look at the big picture down here. All right, so this is the fluid filled highway. This is the skin. Below it is all these little balls and straps and so forth. So that's so you can do all this stuff and move around and your body will come back to where it's supposed to be. Now, the, the, the fluid has to stay in here and be able to be separated because that's really the membrane. And inside this darker area here is going to be where the, um, I, I believe these are where the, the, the leukocytes, uh, lymphocytes or whatever you call them, the, the white blood cells are in here creating the chemistry. And it's got to be from bacteria. All right, I think this is what's going on here. We got white blood cells, and all white blood cells are produced by your bone marrow and then are released in your bloodstream as well as lymph ducts. So this, the white blood cells are the key to what we're talking about. Those are the things that kill invaders and so forth. And these are the different types. All right, now, they, they are released into your bloodstream and your lymph fluids. That's all we have to know about the white blood cells, and I'll show you where they collect. All right, so they're created in the bone marrow, and then they float around anywhere they want. And I believe this is where the immune cells basically adhere and um, you know these are the lymphocytes leukocytes or whatever <laughs> all right so we know they're produced in the bone marrow and they are going to be produced by a whole batch of chemistry and DNA and so forth this is nothing more than a very very advanced program and then they're going to be released into the bloodstream as well as in the lymph fluids. And these are these, now I believe they collect in that interstitial fluid, which is basically the fascia, it's the membrane. All right, so here is this new found organ, which is the white layer here, which is the fluid filled highway. Now, and again, this is only 2018, so they, they haven't gotten much time with this. I, I have a pretty good amount of time and I've been d digging deep into it because I can see things that nobody can see as I showed you in the microscope shot up there nobody could see that well they never did see it before now anyway here it is I believe these are where your immune cells are gathering here and they're spitting out their contents into the fluid filled highway and the bacteria and so forth that are in your lymph fluid live in this area here. This is basically your lymph fluids. And it's one gigantic network of it. However, I think each organ has a two little a tubes, one going in and one coming back out. And I think that organ may have completely different chemistry than the next organ next to it because there's two different types of chemistry inside that bag. Like your stomach is totally different than your lungs. So I would expect the fluid surrounding your lungs would be different than the fluid surrounding the acids in your stomach. 
that's just a guess, but it's possible. So what are they doing? Now, the guy that wrote this paper back in 2018 is looking deeper into the same thing I'm just talking about, is the separation of these fluids. Now, these are all about the white blood cells. And they're saying in the cytoplasm, it's a material that just fills. It's the fluids. And then you have these small sacs within the cytoplasm contain enzymes. Those are the key. And other chemicals. And um, they're used for di to digest pathogens. All right. And the, down here, it talks about the most common type of white blood cell is a neutrophil. They digest bacteria and fungi. You, your bacteria is going to go bad, and even the invading bacteria, you want to kill them. And these are neutrophils. Then you have lymphocytes, and, that, and then it gets a little complicated, monocytes, and yada, yada, yada. But there, all of these are cells that respond to infection or invasion or, or that type of thing. All right, so this was the first 2018 structure and distribution of an unrecognized interstitium in human tissues, which is that fluid-filled highway. Then we're going on from there to see, well, is it different in different places? Is the fluids different? So we're jumping up three years to 2021. All right, now I think I've shown you that this is the attachment spot. And these two little white dots are where the fluid goes in and out. Do you see the two different colors? And you see this? That's the tube feeding it. This one has a tube feeding it as well. How it transfers to the next organ, I don't know. But this is sort of a close-up shot. Uh, this is a little further away. But you see how it has that strap? This is just nothing more than like a, a piece of meat. But it's a rock. It's a solid rock. You see how white that is and how a different color? And that tube goes, runs right up this side and this tube runs right up that side. And, th and then it flares out through the fascia. As a matter of fact, here's the rock right here. Well, what you're looking at right now is those right the tip of that right here. Right the tip there. Then right here is the button that snaps it in place and that is tough. Now that lays somehow over the next body part that this attaches to. And it sends its fluid into this one. Now, is it the same fluid that's in this one? Or does something happen here? Because when I look at it, it almost looks like an organ. There's other th things going on back here that could be an organ. I, I, I don't know. And I'm trying to find out from some autopsy guys if they know anything about this. But right now, these are the two tabs. You see that one? It runs right up this way. It's a darker color. See this one? It runs right up the white. And that's a, just literally a piece of meat. That's the key. That's the beauty of this mud fossil stuff. I can see things nobody else had ever seen before. All right. This is the two tubes. This is the darker one. And this is the white one. And if you follow the white, it goes up underneath this blobby stuff and ends up coming up here, I believe. That's where it ends up attaching to the next body part, somewhere up in here. Now this looks to me, you can see like little dots here. I don't know if you can see that from that far away, but you see how you got Bip, 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 and all the way back up here. Something's happening here. There's something happening here. What it is ain't exactly clear. But it could be that that's some kind of an organ that adjusts the fluid going in or out, whatever it is. And then you got all this stuff. But I think only working with this side. I think this is all underneath this stuff. And that's like a big tube going somewhere. I don't know where. Coming out of here. Or that it could actually be a blood vessel that's just laying on here. But there's, there's two different tubes here. There's no question that's a tube. No question that's a tube. 
that's at the end of the attachment place, right where it attaches. Just what I've been showing you.